everyone. Welcome to Wellness Weekdays with me, Kate. Um, today I thought we could focus on reconnecting and I'll get to that after we've had our mindfulness task. This has proven to be quite a successful task in with people that have joined with in the past and basically it's a mindfulness task and you take your index finger and you trace the whole way around the outside of your hand, then you switch around and do it with the other. As always, if you want to shut your eyes, whatever works for you, um, let's see how it, how it goes, okay? So, I think I did that quite fast for the purpose of the video. Um, having done this in group before, I've seen some people that just repeatedly do it. People go at different rates. It, it works, as all of these things do, they work differently for your own individual style. If you want to do it with some music on, if you want to just focus on the sensation of what it feels like to connect your, your finger with your hand, it's quite an interesting sensory experience. Hopefully it's one that um, serves to refocus you and to, to just give you a, a calmer perspective. So reconnecting, I guess there's multi ways to look at what that might mean. At the moment when we're in lockdown and we're not able to see people in the way that we normally would, we have to find new and creative ways to stay in touch. Today I had the idea that I would contact uh, friends and loved ones via a video text message. I've never done that before, but I thought I'm going to select, I think, five people from my um, my contact book. I sent them a bespoke message detailing three things that make me smile when I think of them, and I sent it off. Um, it was met with a lot of positivity, and do you know what? It gave me a good laugh doing it. And I'm going to continue to do that um, in the coming days, so look out if I've got your number, you know, there might be a text message coming your way. It's also the opportunity to, to touch base with people, perhaps people from previous lifetimes. I kind of think that we, we, we don't just have the one life. A friend once said to me, oh gosh, does that episode in your life feel like a chapter ago? And I remember saying to her, no, Susan, that was you. I remember saying, no, that feels like a whole volume ago. Do you know what? We do move on, we do have, it's like um, shedding your skin, it's like different layers of an onion, isn't it? You, you do have different experiences that make up the whole person. There might be people that you're, you're thinking of that you perhaps haven't connected with in a while and I guess, you know, global pandemic, maybe, maybe that's the time to, to reach out. What is the worst that could happen? Um, sending letters. Now, my dear friend Claire, I have to say the biggest thank you. Last night I, I had the joy of reading this delightful letter from uh, one of my oldest friends, Claire, who is so thoughtful and who is so, so kind and she wrote me a lovely card and lots of positivity about these videos that I've been making with my little one and I just want to say thanks for that. Um, not a lot of people I don't think still write letters, we do and we have a lot of fun with it and now's the time to kind of exercise your, your writing skills. If if you don't have a pen pal or someone that you would feel comfortable writing to, why not start actually writing a sort of diary about what's happening because you know this is a this is a unique situation and once it once things are back to whatever the new normal are, will you remember how how this felt? Maybe maybe you should take time to, to chronicle it and um to use that to to process the emotions of that. Also, it could be a way for you to keep in touch with your neighbours. You know, I, I'm flirting with the idea of um, making a banner to put in our front window, just a little message of positivity to the, the folk that live across the road. We, we face tenements 
and there's a lot of people that are now at home during the day, including ourselves, who wouldn't normally be. And I'm sort of interested to see what would happen if I if I write something like enjoy your tea break. Um, so I guess that leaves you with your task for today or for this week. Think about somebody who you haven't checked in with or think about someone that you could check in with differently. OK, whether that is making them a silly video or like my mom's friend for my mom's birthday yesterday. Um, as I, I was telling you and her friend arrived at the house with this big banner saying happy birthday pal which was just it was really nice that was lovely so think about ways that you can can do things differently and, and make things special make things unique and make the most of this bizarre experience and a massive happy birthday shout out to, to Claire whose birthday is very very soon and I'm looking forward to our FaceTime chat okay I really hope these videos are helpful if anyone has any requests of something they would like to learn about or focus on, please just let me know. Otherwise, stay well, stay, stay healthy and think about this. Kindness and thoughtfulness, dare I say it, are they not the most positive contagion that could be circulating the world? So do your bit to help spread some love and kindness.